Hello and welcome to another Simple Trading Ideas Trading Tutorial. In this Simple Trading Ideas Trading Tutorial we're going to cover some very basic ETF trading strategies. Now at Simple Trading Ideas we focus on technical analysis. We love technical analysis because it is what has worked for us in our own trading for many many years and has worked for many successful traders both individuals as well as institutions for many years and will for many years to come so what we're going to do is we'll take a look at a few simple trading strategies for ETFs now what we're looking at here is the daily bar chart of the QQQ, the NASDAQ Power Shares QQQ Trust. Uh, and what we've done here is we've got a couple of different things. The first thing is a very basic, very simple line you see through here is a 20 period moving average. Okay, that is, it's also referred to as an indicator. So this is an indicator on the chart here and it helps us segment the data and visualize trends. It also smooths the data out as you can see and in this particular case we're just in the middle of the chart picking out some things at random to look at. The typical interpretation uh, when you're using a moving average is that when the price moves below the moving average that the trend is downward and that a short position should be taken. Now we're talking about general interpretations and again this is a certain type of moving average. This one is a 20 period simple moving average and the moving average can be of virtually any whole number type of length that you can think of. Uh, you know, if you want a 100 period, 200 day moving average is very commonly used in stock trading. So the typical interpretation, of course, is price moves below moving average. We're looking at trend to go down. Price moves up above moving average. We're looking at a trend to go up. So we want to be in on an uptrend and in on a downtrend selling short to the downside. That's just a again a simple way of using a simple moving average. What some traders may prefer to do is to actually wait until there is a close below the moving average before going short. And there may be other qualifiers as well. This is one that's just strictly based upon the simplest use of the moving average. And they may also wait for a close above the moving average before going long. And again with a whole host of other types of things. Some traders will see a close in this area below the moving average but they'll look at the slope of the moving average. And they see that upward angle, it's kind of flat there. And they may or may not take that particular trade dependent upon how they're looking at a longer term trend. They may be looking at a monthly chart and have noticed that the major trend is is up and they'd like to actually see some downside action before going short. So they may look in this area or they may look in this area lots of different ways to do it. Oftentimes traders will look for a confirmation of the trend. So they may look for the price to make a you know a lower low uh, or a higher high before getting in. Now let's move on to another very basic ETF trading strategy. Okay now I've removed the moving average our 20 period simple moving average and what you see here are a series of light blue dots and light red dots and what each of these dots represents is in this case the light blue dots represent 
new highs. Okay, so this light blue dot here represents the highest high over the last 10 periods. And in this case, since this is a daily QQQ chart, the highest high for the last 10 days. The red dots represent the lowest low for the last 10 days. So for those who like to trade breakouts, this is a simple method. Looking to trade a breakout, here we have the lowest low right here of the last 10 days. We're just moving from this over here, moving from this side, moving to the right. Okay, nothing to be done, nothing to be done, nothing to be done. And here we have a, a low that's actually below that lowest low of the last 10 days. So break that's actually a breakout to the downside. And we could actually go short in several different ways. One, we could do it uh, as several cents below that particular level. And as soon as that low breaks down below that, we'd be short. Or alternatively, we can also wait for a close below that lowest low of the last 10 days and go short. Okay. So as you can see, we're going short, 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 staying short essentially. Okay. Staying short essentially, staying short. Not a bad move down. And this wasn't cherry picked, I just came to the middle of the chart just for the purposes of illustration. And as you can see, we have a reversal prices move up and here we have the highest high of the last 10 days so at this point either at that particular point when we go a bit above that we could buy the QQQ and be long okay. so it could be long and essentially we could either stay long or we could take profit we could take part of our position off there are just any number of ways to do it but for the sake of simplicity let's just say we will go long and then we'll reverse our position and go short on the breakout to the downside which we have here okay so we've got a breakout to the downside not much downside action we go back up here breakout to the upside we go long so let's scroll over and see how things progress here as we start to take a look Okay, and oftentimes what uh, traders will do is will enter with a multiple number of shares, say if they have 1,000 shares and they reach a certain uh, threshold, then at that particular point in time, say it's from here to here, which is about it looks like about a dollar uh, they may say that okay well I'll set I will set my break even stop uh, once the price reaches a dollar over my entry point which would be up here so as the market travels back down okay, they would be out here at break even okay. and then they would actually be short here and you could see this is now this is a breakout obviously of that lowest low you could see here came down and then turned back around and that's that's a breakout as well except that that one is a false breakout so travels back up okay so we go up here and you could see this is a lot of sideways movement the market here is traveling within a two dollar range so it's pretty narrow for a near seventy dollar uh, price on the QQQ so back up here if you never got a chance really to do much as far as a break even so in this case you may have had your stop on the other side of the channel formed by the highest high and the lowest low and got stopped out 
then enter the long trade here. We continue along to long trade and didn't really get very very far as as uh, that was concerned so not much room for break even then that's dependent upon where you pre place your break even stop if you have one but your regular stop would probably be down here and if the market comes back down and breaks through there that would be your uh, the loss from here to here at this point we'd be short in a false breakout okay and we'd be stopped out at that particular point and here's something else that's interesting too some traders actually may look for more than one bar beneath that particular price level okay so uh, that's kind of a confirmation uh, that uh, there is indeed a shift to a downward trend there is no real confirmation there there was a shift to the downward trend here and as you can see this bar did not close below the lowest low of the last 10 days but it did form it formed a new low but it didn't close you can see it turned up and it was an up day actually Okay, so we'll be stopped out of that particular point and and that just depends how much room we're giving it if we're using one side of the channel as our stop loss which is why channel breakouts are so excellent to trade hold on one moment I'll just draw something there okay just drawn a couple of horizontal lines we can see the actual channel here so um, hold on one moment actually yeah, my mistake that's the actual that's the actual channel it goes up here then we've got a new high so we break down here and we get we would get stopped out if we're using the opposite side of that channel as our uh, stop loss here we go up and we'd be long and may have an opportunity to break even dependent upon our parameters and you can see it turn back around another false false breakout again if we waited for two closes below uh, that particular point then that would be a whole different realm there so then we make sure that we move our to move our because this is the you know a new channel gets formed thusly okay. so we go along there's our new low there's our new high and that's a big channel so we may choose to based upon the size of the channel itself you may choose to say well I'm not really willing to risk the distance of that particular channel so I may pass on this particular trade at this time you could always do that and as we move on we we have a new low there we go is a new high okay so we got whipsawed slapped around you could see that sideways movement throughout there but then we do finally get some you know some daylight in this breakout here okay, so and at this particular point of course we look up here and perhaps we decide to put in a break even stop all dependent upon the exact parameters of the the trading system that you're using okay so things change now and there's a new highest high it's a new low okay so we choose to we could choose to and go short at this point and have this this upper part here at right about seven at the seventy five dollar mark so we're risking roughly two fifty uh, per share and so we could be short here and use that as our stop 
Let's see how things progress. And yes, the market does move around. Okay, you can see we were short. And since we haven't gone back up to this level, we're, we're essentially, we're still short. Move on here. Okay, so now we've got new high, new lows formed here. Okay, and at that particular point of being short from there, there was there's room for a, a break even stop. And the break even stop's very useful. Again, it depends on the parameters of your trading system, but there's there's not a reason to get completely wiped out because the market does not go in your direction. Just controlling your risk makes makes perfect sense. Okay. Makes perfect sense. Okay, so we're back here and we're long. And as you can see there's you know there's a good bit of movement there. There's three, four dollars. That's again that's plenty of room for a break even stop. So we go here. And there. And again, this is a this particular when we're doing the channels here, these are ten the lowest low of the last ten days and the highest high of the last ten days. So that particular parameter of the breakout can be changed. It can be changed to the highest high of the last twenty days and the highest uh, the lowest low of the last 20 days or the low lowest low and the highest high can be of two different uh, can have two different parameters so uh, if you want to have a value of say 20 for the highest high highest high for the last 20 bars you could do that and you want to have one of 10 for the lowest low of the last 10 bars and you could do that as well so there's lots of ways to to mix and match it now you can see here not a close below a little false breakout action so if we actually did get short there the false breakout come back up and that's actually a little higher than that one well, I'll come back down false breakout come back up by and you can see you do get trades where when you have movement of course that's uh, not in a sideways fashion it's in a consolidation you do get uh, the trades that uh, pan out uh, to uh, give you some nice profit potential you see as we go up here but that's just again that's a basic simple breakout of an X bar high breakout of an X bar low uh, channel breakout uh, kind of trading system just something again simple and the whole objective here is to get you to get a basic idea of how these simple ETF strategies work and go from there to do your own you know research and analysis experimentation to find out uh, which parameters work best for you in your own trading system okay, so that's the breakout so we're gonna look at a different type of breakout now all right, we are back, and we're going to look at a different type of breakout. And this particular type of breakout is uh, known as an inside bar breakout. And it's known as an inside bar breakout because an inside bar is a bar whose high is lower than the previous bar and whose low is higher than the previous bar. Essentially, its range fits 
inside the range of the previous bar as shown right here. Now the horizontal blue lines you see drawn are one way for trading an inside bar breakout but the horizontal line that you see for the breakout trade are actually drawn at the high and low of the bar prior to the inside bar. Okay, So a breakout of the bar prior, the range of the bar prior to the inside bar. And what defines your stop loss is the opposite side. So here we see inside bar, inside, breakout there, not a close, but a breakout there. Okay, So let's just say we did get long in this particular instance and market moves down moves down false false breakout of the bar prior to the inside bar and here we have an opportunity to go short after we were stopped out of our long position so our loss is essentially defined by the range of the bar prior to the inside bar that's one thing that's very nice about this type of ETF trading strategy is that the parameters are there well defined no guesswork whatsoever okay so we stopped out we're stopped out here we come back we're short you know we're still short okay, so depending upon how we're trading it if we're just going based upon this breakout to the downside here we just could just leave things alone because our stop is up here okay so we're short from here basically and our stop is up here you can see our stops not getting hit stops still not getting hit so the longer term traders they may just flat out leave it and let that run its course all the way down okay all right so that's that's one way that longer term traders may do it they might let it come all the way down and then they would trail their stop perhaps at certain levels here like that particular high and they may trail it that particular high in that particular fashion okay. so shorter term traders may get in and out uh, more times of course well that is the definition of shorter term trading they're going to get in and out more times than a longer term trader I just uh, realized how obvious that sounded okay. so as we move on let's find ourselves a we can find ourselves a new inside bar let's say we wanted to trade this one okay false breakout to the upside downside so fault we have a false breakout we get stopped out and reverse to go short here okay. so we'd essentially still be short because our stop for the sh that is up here here we'd have an inside bar and at that particular point if we're trading inside bar for inside bar then we would be stopped out of our short here which is not much of a loss from our entry point here okay then we have a new inside bar formed we could go short on this inside bar short that low of, of the that's the low of the bar prior to the inside bar we short there we come back up here and we would get stopped out okay. and we form another inside bar short another inside bar back up here and we basically be stopped out close to break even then from there we're long uh, from right at this point sixty four dollars and seventy five cents ok 
Okay, so then we have uh, uh, an opportunity to, you know, we're, we're long still, so we could add another long position or just stay long, essentially. And where we'll get out of our long will be the breakout of that particular low, the bar prior to the inside bar right there. Okay, so we're long, so we're ignoring going long again. But then we have that low that is lower than the low of our most recent bar prior to the inside bar. So we are stopped out there and actually uh, sort of in the stop in reverse mode. And we, we're short for a false breakout. When we go back up, we're, we're long again. And false breakout there. Price comes back up. We're stopped out and we're long again. And again, this is a short term. We're looking at we're doing this in a uh, in a short term fashion. We go back up. False breakout. Break out to the downside, we'd sell. Back up, stopped out. Go long, stop, and then we come back down here, we're stopped out, in which case we'd sell. And so we'd be short again here. And a little sideways things will get you on breakouts. Okay. And perhaps down here we may have had room to get a break even once we were a dollar to the good. Otherwise we were stopped out at that particular level, at which point in time we went long again. As you can see. So that's just that's just a um a brief overview of you know, inside bar trading. Some particular ETFs may be better than others for inside bar trading. It's just a way to experiment. And of course, the whole objective of all of this is just to give you ideas to move forward with, simple trading ideas, uh, the, the name of the entire uh, tutorial series, give you ways to move forward with. And you may look at this and just say, I get, I get stopped out too many times, uh, especially in these sideways markets, in which case, you are free to investigate other ways uh, to trade the inside bar breakout. Perhaps you'll only do it when there's a, a trend in one direction or the other. See, a decided trend you know, has gone down here. Then we move back up here. And as you can see, you can you can get stopped out a lot in any sideways market and if you're using you know one side of the the high of the bar prior to the inside bar and the low of the bar prior to the inside bar you're using those as your breakout points and also your entry and exit points then that may be very narrow as far as the market movement is concerned. You, you may want to have stops outside those particular areas to give the market uh, more room to move based upon your analysis. And as you can see, we get to a point here where the breakout is in the process of, of bearing some pretty decent fruit as far as about a five point range there. And again, that's just a, a very basic overview of one type of inside bar trading strategy. Another common type, of course, is the high, trading the actual high and low, a breakout of the high and low of the inside bar. And that's what some traders prefer to use. That's it for our coverage of some very, very basic ETF trading strategies. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to join us for another Simple Trading Ideas trading tutorial. Please feel free to come to our website at www.simpletradingideas.com 
for more great trading information. Thank you and have a phenomenal day.